Ben, how does it feel to be recognised by England? Unbelievable, mate. I still can't quite believe it. I got called this morning off Steve and just to be recognised for how I'm performing at minutes, it's just like a dream come true, mate. I just never expected this had happened for me, but you know, it's great that I have been recognised and, and I'm buzzing. Can't believe it. It's been a busy weekend with being over in France to play Catalan, so how, how did you react when, when you got that call? You thought it was a bit of a prank at first? Oh, I answered it and I, I heard this, you know, whole accent like, so I had a feeling it was Steve and then obviously he introduced himself, said who it was and what it was about and first thing I said was, well, is it good news or bad news? <laughs> and he just said, well, it depends how you see it and, you know, we had a bit of a laugh and joke and he just said, I want to congratulate you, you've been selected for training squad and I was probably a bit, bit shocked, you know, um, I know I'd been playing, you know, reasonably well, and but to get that call, it was just, just unbelievable. I still can't quite believe it. And not only a great honour for yourself, but also for, for Wakefield Trinity Wildcats. I think you're the first player since the ETS was established two years to be selected from Wakefield. Yeah, well, I mean, there's a lot of people at Wakefield that've got to be acknowledged for this. I mean, first of all, uh, coaching staff are giving me a chance to get back into Super League. Um, Rich and Webbo and rest at coaching staff have been unbelievable to me. Um, you know, they've sort of been really, they give me a bit of a free role within our team, which I think's been benefit to it, beneficial to my game. And players around me, you know, I can't thank my, my teammates enough. Without them, I, I wouldn't be here today. So it's just, you know, I, there's a lot of people that I really need to thank, and I will do that in my own time personally as well. But, you know, for Wakefield to get somebody in England training squad, I think it's a real big deal for them, and it just shows strides that we're making as a club. And what about that positional change that you've made this year for the start of Super League? Has that, has that really benefited your game going forward? Uh, well, I played there last year, obviously on wing, but um, I've just got a bit of a free role within our team, and I think that you know gives me a chance to express express myself a little bit more on field, and um, obviously that's been recognised by Steve and his staff, and and hopefully I can and push on and maybe make some of it. And a chance. And I think you're the only player that's that's new to the squad out the the 30 man squad that Steve has selected. What, what's it going to be like when you you know when you start rubbing shoulders with the likes of Kevin Sinfield and, and Sam Tompkins? It's going to be it's going to be unbelievable, mate. I just can't. But you know, to play against them's a, a privilege in itself. So to train with them and and possibly play with them, it's, it's you know it's going to be unbelievable. So I'm, I'm something I'm really looking forward to. And have you set yourself any any long term goals now? Obviously, a big year for for rugby league with the World Cup. We've got the Exiles in the summer. What what do you want to achieve over this year? Well, now I've got it squad. I'd like to keep my place in squad for a start. You know, I, I know that squad will get trimmed down later on in the year. So I just want to keep my form up for Wakefield, keep doing well, and and hopefully some will come from it for the end of the year. But you must be enjoying your rugby. I mean, it's been a fantastic start for you. I think it's something like six tries in in five games, which is incredible for you know from your own point of view. I think part of enjoying your rugby league is. You know, it all depends what you're doing off field as well, and I've got other interests away from rugby league. As I said, coaching staff and players at Wakefield are unbelievable. So, to have them kind of people around me and have other interests that are keeping me focused away from rugby as well, I think it just all benefits you on the field. And just finally, you could be there up there with Lionel Messi now endorsing Herbalife. <laughs> you know, that, that could be the way forward for you. Well, maybe so. Let's get Herbalife into England team and go and win that World Cup.